Okay, so welcome to lesson two. In lesson one, we went over what electricity is. It's the flow of electrons through wire. In this lesson, you will learn how to quantify or measure electrical power. You probably get a power bill every month and you are charged by the amount of power you use. That power is measured in units called watts. On your bill, it's called kilowatts, which means thousands of watts. For example, 10,000 watts is the same as 10 kilowatts or 10 kW. So what's a watt and what's it do? A watt is the number of electrons that alternate in a line for one second. That number is really big. It's 6,242 followed by 15 zeros. How much energy is that really? Well, let's take a look. Well, it's about this much power. One watt will move one kilogram one centimeter up. A kilogram is about 2.2 pounds, and a centimeter is about the diameter of a AAA battery. Very tiny indeed. So, to give you some idea, that's about this much weight in cat food, and it'll move it four tenths of one inch. Another way of looking at this is one watt will propel a tennis ball through the air at 14 miles per hour. So really there's a lot of energy in just one watt. Let's take a look at something that really uses a lot of power in your house, probably most of the power that you use, which is your air conditioning unit. From here on out, we're not going to call it that anymore. We're going to call it the HVAC because that's what we're calling it in the trades. It actually consists of two units, which is the condenser unit and the forced air unit, the FAU. They're connected with Freon lines, and the FAU is actually what blows the cold or hot air through your house. Now, the typical AC unit uses about 35 amps at 240 volts. Now, how much power is that? The power is rated in watts. You arrive at your wattage by multiplying amps times volts gives you watts. V times A equals watts. That gives you a total of 8400 watts of power. That's actual power consumption per hour. So here's the formula. IE equals P these are interchangeable, or EI, it doesn't matter, uh, but volts times amps always equals power. Now, what does this 8400 mean in terms of watt hours? Let me explain that. A thousand watts is one kilowatt, or kW. What we have here is 8400 watts, which is 8.4 kilowatts, Per hour everything is rated per hour so this house let's say you run your HVAC unit for six hours using 8.4 kilowatt hours times six hours that comes to 50.4 kilowatt hours now Nevada power is charging me 11.308 cents per kilowatt hour. And if you do the math, you multiply this rate times 50.4 kilowatt hours, which is six hours of air conditioning, you come to $5.69 per day. Now let me explain something. This is about your average air conditioning unit. Oftentimes there's two or three units on one house and this would be a, a very cheap charge to pay. Probably the easiest way to save money on your electric bill is to turn the thermostat up in the summertime on your HVAC unit. Another method is to swap out your light bulbs for the energy efficient bulbs. But before you do this, watch my video on the light saving bulbs. There are some drawbacks. Also to be noted is they put out a high level of ultraviolet radiation, 
so you do not want to use them up close for reading light. So let's look at the formula and see how much energy you can save by swapping those bulbs out. With the oil guzzling incandescent lamps, your average house, and this is just really based on my experience, uses about 10 amps of lighting power at 120 volts. And if you're a real energy waster, you'll burn those for about 12 hours a day. I'm not going to tell you how many watts that is. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you the message to confirm if you're right. But using the factor at basically 11 cents per kilowatt hour, you take volts times amps times hours times the rate, and that comes to $1.62 a day. Sounds cheap enough until you multiply it by 30 days and now you're up to about $50 just to light your house. Okay, so we're going to keep this number up here and swap over to the energy saving bulbs and cut down to six hours of burn time per day. Now with the green bulbs you're going to use about 1.7 amps of lighting energy at 120 volts and we've cut our burn time in half by just being very conscious of turning lights on and off and I will tell you the watts on this it comes to 1224 watts or about 12.2 kilowatts now using the formula volts times amps times hours times rate your cost is 13.8 cents a day as opposed to $1.62. That is a pretty substantial saving. But like I said, before you go out and buy a whole bunch of these green bulbs, there are disadvantages to them. So it's up to you to weigh the differences. There are 12 basic electrical formulas. The most basic and practical formula in all of electrical is this. Voltage multiplied by average is equal to wattage. We'll discuss voltage and average in later lessons, but for now it's watts. So that's how we find watts. The other two formulas are not very useful, but I will show them anyway on the blue screen. To find voltage, you divide watts by average, and to find average, you divide watts by voltage. I didn't list this on the blackboard. But that's two quick examples of how you can manipulate these formulas. To summarize, household electricity is measured in kilowatt hours. This is defined by voltage multiplied by average and calculated on an hourly basis. Thus, you get kilowatt hours and that is how electricity is measured or quantified. Thanks for watching and on lesson three we'll go over average.